This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, December the 29th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Kind of an active weather evening with some warnings to the northwest of us. Uh, just a couple of warnings in Alabama across the Tennessee River Valley. And it looks like the rain's moved out now. Satellite image this morning shows we do have a good deal of clouds, but those clouds will be... Uh, Clearing, as you can see across uh, northern Arkansas and western Tennessee, they, they have clear skies. The front is uh, across and just to the south of the Birmingham area, approaching Montgomery, and that will be moving on fairly briskly as high pressure settles in, and that brings a good northerly flow our way, so we're going to see a couple of chilly days. In the meantime, in the upper atmosphere, we have a fairly uh, strong trough over the eastern half of the country, and that will be turning our flow northwesterly, so we're going to stay pretty chilly. It is rather chilly in the, the northern Rockies, where they're in a lot of single-digit values, and a lot, good deal of freezing temperatures from the western Great Lakes all the way down into northern New Mexico. Across central Alabama, uh, there's a uh, great discrepancy in temperatures, uh, actually values, believe it or not, in the lower 70s. You can see Montgomery there at 71, uh, while Muscle Shoals is at 48. And you can also pick out the front pretty easily. Uh, look for the wind shift between southwesterly and northwesterly. And it does look like we're going to have a northwesterly wind today at uh, probably uh, on the order of 14 to 20 miles an hour with gusts to 25 or 30 miles an hour. Radar shows that we have uh, most of the rain now is approaching Montgomery along the front, along and just ahead of the front, and that will be moving out of the southeastern part of the state by noontime. Watch warning maps a little bit uh, calmer this morning. We see that there are still some uh, winter weather uh, warnings and advisories in effect for uh, eastern New York and for New England. QPF is looking very encouraging to help put a sizable dent in the uh, drought across the southeastern United States. Uh, we're looking at on the order of probably uh, two to four inches of rain, pretty widespread across much of the state of Alabama, with the highest amounts on the order of four to four and a half inches over the southwestern corner. Excessive rainfall outlook uh, for day three shows excessive rain as a possibility over southern Louisiana and southern Mississippi. And the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk over uh, the North Carolina coastline and a little bit of South Carolina. Other than that, for days two and three, there are no outlook areas. All right, 06 c GFS model run and uh, 18Z, there goes our front as it moves out across the southeastern part of the state later today. Uh, in the upper atmosphere on Friday, we see the deep trough digging in along the east coast of the U.S. That's setting up a pretty chilly day for us as the high settles in. So we're going to have uh, freezing temperatures uh, Friday morning and Friday afternoon. It looks like uh, we'll struggle to get out of the 40s, although it looks like maybe we should see highs in the lower 50s. The trough moves on out into the Atlantic and the flow goes zonal as we see a very uh, strong closed low coming in to Southern California. And that uh, trough and that closed low is going to be sending a number of pieces of energy or disturbances out across the southern part of the United States as we set up a good southwesterly flow and pick up Pacific moisture. We can see the beginnings of that happening on Saturday. Uh, as you can see, the rain expected by 18Z midday noon to be to our west, but that means Saturday afternoon we'll probably be seeing the rain move in. And the rain may begin as uh, sleet uh, because the atmospheric profile looks pretty chilly. Uh, it will be warming up during the day, so that will be good, but it could begin as sleet. I don't expect that to cause any travel issues at the moment. The southwesterly flow continues in the upper atmosphere on Sunday, and uh, that just keeps it, uh, things pretty wet across the southeastern United States. And again, we can use it. The flow stays southwesterly, and uh, one final uh, strong short wave comes out across the lower Mississippi River Valley on Monday. And so once again, that is a, a wet day for the southeastern U.S. and the lower Mississippi River Valley on Monday. By Tuesday, uh, our flow has gone a little bit more zonal again, so we're not picking up quite as much Pacific moisture. Uh, and it also means that the surface low will move up into the Great Lakes and the front will finally move out of the southeastern U.S., uh, putting an end to the rain on Tuesday. Wednesday, the flow stays primarily zonal as it does on Thursday. 
Uh, so we're not likely to see uh, much in the way of rain. Although Thursday, we're going to be transitioning once again with a pattern very similar to the one we've just about to undergo here so that we'll see uh, a uh, pattern with uh, a rain a shield developing over the lower Mississippi River Valley once again as that trough in the upper atmosphere picks up that Pacific moisture. Looking out further into voodoo country, it looks like there's no rest in the weather department. We see a strong trough coming across the lower Mississippi River Valley on Sunday the 8th. So uh, that looks like an active uh, period of active weather for us down there. The active weather uh, goes uh, calm for a few days as we see a nice uh, upper ridge around the 11th of January as an, another big trough digs into the western part of the country. And then by the end of the period on the 13th of January, oh, Friday the 13th, we see another strong trough coming out across the central U.S. and across the Mississippi River Valley, and that produces or that's likely to produce another situation with some active weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing uh, between 7 and 7.30 on Friday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed.